The murder of a Border Patrol agent has been getting a lot of attention from people on both sides of the border security debate. However, today, politics seemed absent from a small memorial service. Greg Bledsoe is live in El Cajon. Yeah, Marty, and that small vigil was held right out here outside of the Border Patrol headquarters here in El Cajon. Again, it was a pretty small gathering made up of Minutemen and the San Diego Citizens Brigade, most of them very in favor of tighter borders, but they said there was no political motivation to this. You can see that man standing there. He's been there for a while. Now, only about a dozen people showed up here bringing flowers and signs. They would wave down border agents coming and going to say thank you to them and to give their condolences for Agent Robert Rosas. Rosas was shot to death Thursday night while patrolling the area of the border near Campo. Mexican law enforcement claims to have arrested the shooter the FBI, however, is not confirming at this time that that man has anything to do with this case. The shooting was obviously brought up or has brought up the issue of border security once again. While the Minutemen are usually very outspoken about their desires for tighter borders, they said today's vigil was not about that. Instead, they say they came out here just to say thank you. Anybody that goes on that border and puts their life on the line, that's like a man going overseas and fighting for this country. That's what it's all about. Now again today, in, in addition to the man being held down in Mexico, there's another man that's being held up in Northern California. And according to court documents today, that man has already been deported twice, including being deported last week from San Isidro, just three days before the murder. His name is Salvador Picasso Embriers. Reporting live from El Cajon, I'm Greg Bledsoe for NBC 739. Thanks, Greg.